Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of July. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If this doesn't sound like your story, well, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if not, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. All right, let's begin. Okay, so at the heart of this reading, I have the convenenza and the six of winter. So the convenenza, let's talk about this card. It is about gathering your strength, okay? Um, finding the courage to face something, a challenging, a challenging situation, facing your fears, facing the truth of a situation or even speaking your truth. It is about having the courage and the strength to be able to do this. Um, it is wanting to get something, uh, to speak a truth, to get something off of your chest. Okay, it's going in to face this challenge without arms, without that shield being up, taking, you know, letting that shield down, letting your guard down and having your heart open. You see all his armor lays upon the ground around him. His sword, his shield is there somewhere, his helmet. So letting, being open. Um, letting the person see, the other person see, what you've kept hidden. What you've not said. So, um, this is coming with the Six of Winter. So, this could be a card of learning something. Um, this could be um, new information, new skills, lessons. This could be um, a new opportunity, but you may need uh, to gain new knowledge um, for it. You could be practicing for this actual scene that we see here of going in to tell somebody the truth. So you could be practicing this in your mind. You could learn something new uh, or offer something new to this situation. Whatever this is representing, it brings... Uh, changes that could throw some elements of your life um, uh, on their heads, so to speak. And whatever it is, you can choose to learn from this and, uh, and to adapt to it. Whatever area it falls in, in the long term, this brings you gain in some way. It brings um, experience um, or it is about an experience that will teach you something. Now, this is you pouring over the details of this idea you have and I feel it is an idea, perhaps. Um, this Two of Wands is in the reverse. So, um, this is a pause for thought. Well, that's what you're doing. This is an earth sign. I feel it is you, unless you're dealing with another for earth sign, then that would be probably them if they are male. This is a pause for thought. It is... Um, this pause is necessary in order to get over your uncertainties uh, about this situation. 
this could be uh, saying that this person is trying to hide their uncertainties and doubts behind uh, behind the mask of the jester because in this in this card behind we see the jester is sitting on the wall and so but it is in reverse so uh, trying to hide the uns hit their uncertainties and their doubts about the details that they're looking at here about the possibility of some type of negotiation or meeting um, pretending to be happy uh, when you're not hiding all the worry having to do with the future so what we see is that there was an ending and somebody is sitting stubbornly on a decision, but there appears to be uh, deeper issues here that are hidden, emotional issues that are hidden. And here we see somebody who's looking back at a past situation again or they're looking back at that situation and uh, they're filling their cups with wishes. So it, it's like a wish to be able to change things is what they want. See, they're stuck. They almost in this point of defeat, trying to come up with a new plan for a new beginning. And they can't find one. The only way out of this, maybe, is to go and speak your truth. Or to speak a truth. Or to, to, to let down, take down the mask. Let, uh, let the, let the, um, uh, put down the shield, the sword. And speak from the heart. But you see here, <laughs> in this little scene, there's a lot of doubts and uncertainties whether or not you could do that or whether or not you would get this new beginning um, or, or uh, even if this idea uh, or this person um, or the situation, if you could rely on it or rely on that person or confidence uh, whether you're confident enough in the idea of going in to speak you see here in this card of the two of swords it is somebody it's like a uh, it's like the mind um, one minute I'll be right back I have a, a little dog issue I'll be right back sorry sorry about that he may <laughs> he may walk walk out onto the scene and I'm trying to keep them laying down. Okay, so back to the reading. Um, let me see. The Two of Swords. I believe I was there. Um, so the Two of Swords is like a the head uh, not being uh, willing to give in to what the heart wants. I feel in this uh, in this situation. You may uh, th well. Most well, actually, you did because I see it here. There was an argument, okay, and this card would suggest that this did indeed happen. So there was a, an argument or a disagreement, um, some type of inner dilemma that went on here. And it feels like um it feels like you want to try to change the situation that i i feel like um i feel like it's funny but i feel like it's you that started this but now you want to try to change it but you did it because uh it's, you felt like there was a lot of doubts and uncertainties where this was going, uh, that you were not on the same page at all uh, when it came to the uh, what was on offer 
or how you you're viewing this connection you see um <clears throat> This is about cooperation, teamwork. That seems to be in question. What I see is somebody is um, in the seven of love. <laughs> God, is, his head is right here. <laughs> now it's hanging into the reading. Okay, so um, the seven of love. I feel um, the, it's the card of the dreamer, you know, somebody uh, whose head is up in the clouds, um, escaping reality through fantasy. Maybe you're wishing you could go back to uh, um, when times were just easier, uh, especially with the six of, uh, of cups being here. Um, I think that you fantasize or longing, longing would be uh, the right word. You're longing for uh, this, a chance to, to speak to this person. Um, there's a very strong temptation here uh, with the lovers, and this could be an actual lover. The lover's card here uh, somebody is wavering on a decision. Well, we see that up here. We see that here. Um, we see that all over this reading. So somebody's wavering on a decision. Um, tempted to reach out to somebody to have this talk wherein they would uh, speak and they fantasize about it. Where, but they, but they also, uh, there's been a lot of fear surrounding speaking a truth. Even here, we see it. Uh, there's like this sense of uh, foreboding here on that uh, seven of uh, pentacles. It's like a strong premonition that causes you it's like you're wavering you're just on the point of reaching out to that person but then you get this strong feeling um that causes you you know to pause to stop what you're what you're doing stop in your tracks taking a second look at this situation we have two knights here But they're facing each other. So I think this is uh, um, maybe you and, and the other person um, coming towards each, each other. It's like you're both, one is addicted to the other. That's what this is. Because the devil is here. They're both coming in, facing each other. Okay? And it's like a uh, heartbreak. Okay? It's like they can't stay away from each other. They had this breakup over here. Uh, but here they are coming back again. I feel that this is like on again. <laughs> Sorry, he's pushing his toys and everything out here. Okay, um, I'll just get him out of here. I'm going to put him on the ground. Be right back. So sorry. Um, so they're, here they are facing each other. They parted in heartbreak. And the problem is that they probably each time part in, heart, in heartbreak. It's like something that is toxic, that's going in circles. And so the question is, with judgment, and you have it up here also in the overall energies, do you give this another chance again? It feels like you will have the opportunity to do that. To uh, to give this another chance. And I, I feel if you don't reach out to them, they're going to reach out to you. It's like there's a magnet <laughs> that just draws one to the other. 
Let's have a look at what these cards say. Okay, so what we have here is the five of uh, of autumn. I, yeah, see, it's uh, addiction, self-sabotaging or damaging behavior. Now we have that card here. It is the five of swords. It speaks to negative interactions. Um, it could be somebody refusing uh, to see a situation for what it is, possibly. Um, it could also be somebody un unwilling to uh, admit that they're wrong. The card uh, is mainly a warning to step away from any toxic behaviors that you may have been relying on. Try to face or at least recognize uh, what you have been avoiding. And maybe that's what this conversation is going to be about. You know, for everyone, it's going to be different. Now, next to that, we have the uh, Eight of Summer. So this is a lot of um, confusion, exhaustion, choices. There's uncertainty here. Um, the Three of Swords speaks to a situation that is uncertain also. You could be feeling exhausted from this, you know, from being stuck in this uh, energy, <clears throat> from going round and round in circles or uh, uh, from being confused about where to go next. This uh, card would be saying that now is the time to finally obtain your clarity by choosing a path and moving on. The most beneficial thing for you to do right now is to look forward and imagine your ideal future. Concentrate on new personal projects and rediscover, rediscover parts of yourself that have been lost for a while. Even though picking yourself up from this energy might feel difficult. Be mindful that any hurt and uncertainty that you might be feeling is only temporary, okay, in this energy. So you must make a decision on this, and maybe that is what this is about. Maybe you do go in and you speak from the heart, because it feels like this is something that just keeps going in circles, and each time it ends in heartbreak. The Two of Spring. is about connections. Um, this pairing, this coming together is what this is talking about. It's something that you've been wanting to, to achieve, but it always ends badly. So you must ask yourself, you must stop at some point and ask yourself why that is. So, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching. Um, sorry about all the interruptions, but um, that's it when you tape live. <laughs> so, um, I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has um, sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.